Now the stopper knot is one of my favourite knots, it's really simple to tie and it's one of the first ones that I learned. Uh, you want to tie it to the tail end of your climbing line, whether it's your lanyard or your climbing line. And it's basically two overhand knots, um, sometimes known as a barrel knot I think. We basically just do two loops and get the tail end of the rope and pass it over the working end, very similar to um, a fisherman's. So you go over the working end and just basically pass it through the two loops that you've made. If you just pull that tight now, that'd probably suffice, that'd probably work fine. As you can see, if you pull it down there, that, that basically gives you a stopper knot, it will work. But to create the, the, the stopper knot or the barrel knot that I'm used to using, you want to take the bottom loop and pass it over the top of the other one. You can do it the other way as well. Um, but this basically uh, this basically creates, a, I believe, a, a single fisherman's, if, if that's the thing. Um, but it just works really well. The more force that you put on it, the tighter it'll go. It's also really easy to undo um, if you ever need to. You can just pull the bottom uh, loop out and it'll come undone. So I use that at the end of all my climbing lines and um, it doesn't, it can get stuck in forks and things, but I find that it's a lot nicer than using other big knots or just an overhand knot.